but as you get your blood flowing and those muscles start to get pumped up a bit, you will feel good. How do you cultivate these ideas? You mentioned like walking, like what are some other things you do in the day? How do you get yourself set uh, for jujitsu? I know like you like jujitsu, it's part of your day. How do you get yourself prepared for like a workout? Is there anything like you have a ritual? Do you like to, uh, or how do you set yourself up for the morning? Do you like to shower in the morning? You shower at night? Like what's something that you do? Okay. Well, um, as far as like for the nutrition side of things, uh, the big thing for me is just not keeping things that I would overeat because I, I still have easily, I, I still have things that I could easily overeat. I just don't keep them in the house. Um, I don't keep them as at arm's length because I have a bunch of better options. I have beef, I have vertical meals, I have all those things. So when I do truly get hungry, I have something that I can make right there. Um, and if I really want something, then I have to go to the store to get it. It's it's It makes that maintaining that aspect of my diet much easier because I don't never eat these foods. I don't never eat sushi or pizza from time to time or whatever, but it's very few and far between because I don't keep these things super close to me. So the, the biggest part of that is just not keeping them super close. Along with that, um, I don't drink my calories like, and I've never had an alcohol problem. So I have like alcohol sitting on the counter, but it's not something that I drink often because I don't have a problem with it. But if I did, alcohol wouldn't be just sitting on the counter. I have bottles of shit that have been there for like a year and a half that haven't been opened because again, it's like, if I open it, cool. It's not, it's not an issue for me. So that's just a big concept for nutrition. Um, and we were talking about the walking the other day. I realized that like, cause I'll usually just kind of sit. And if I'm trying to come up with ideas for things we can do, things we can talk about, whatever. Right. Um, I'll sometimes be sitting there, but then I'll just get fucking annoyed and I'll go walk. And then when I'm walking, everything just starts flowing. Right. So I'll just be on my phone writing shit out and just something comes to mind. And it's just, it's so much easier to get when you're ideas doing that. Are you, are you listening to anything or are you just walking? I'm usually just walking. I'm usually just walking. Um, I don't usually listen to things because then I start focusing on the music too much. Mm -hmm. But when I can just walk, it, you know, we talked about it. I'll, I'll have my notes app open, but then I'll, I'll just like go to Instagram or something mm -hmm. for like a few minutes while I'm walking. And I'll, I'll be like, fuck, man, start thinking again. But then something will happen. Something will come to mind. But I've found that personally, I, I, I think I started doing this because you mentioned it. When in motion, things just come better. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen, but yes, you did. <laughs> Andrew, tell them about our new cum sponsor. <laughs> oh, From man. the makers of the penis pump, we now have the cum shot. <laughs> oh no, the money shot. The oh, money yeah. shot. <laughs> Coming soon. Coming soon. Oh man, can that um, be? Can that be a part of the, uh, the ad campaign for the money shot slink? This new slink I do shot? think that like we need to like hold it back. Like me and Ensema can hold it, and you can like stretch it way back. <laughs> and then when it shoots, it just sprays all over. The place. <laughs> oh my god! Uh -huh. <laughs> all over the camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and honestly, for, like for getting ready for workouts now, I don't know. There doesn't seem to be much. Like the, I don't have any rituals for getting ready for workouts for jujitsu other than like maybe the music I listened to before jujitsu in my car. Pack Project Family, how's it going? I want to tell you guys about the legendary Tasty Pastry. And we've talked about Ben and Jerry's and snacks and stuff on the podcast, but those can go against your goals. They can be too calorically dense and they can really make you crave more bad foods. But the crazy, the crazy thing about the legendary Tasty Pastry is that it's 20 grams of protein and five grams of net carbs and 180 calories and they taste amazing you guys need to check them out they have tons of flavors andrew how can they get it yeah and the other thing they pass the kid test kids love these things as mm. well head over to eatlegendary.com and at checkout enter promo code power project to save 20 percent off all the tasty pastries all the nut butters all the almonds everything again eatlegendary.com links to them down in the description as well as the podcast show notes let's get back to the podcast at if you got point, done with a podcast right now and mm -hmm. you kind of didn't feel like working out, your back's tight or something, what, what would you do? Well, I have the luxury of the gym just being right there. Mm -hmm. I would just walk in and start doing shit. So if I were somebody and I wasn't feeling like going to the gym, I would just still go and walk in and start moving, start walking. So on the you just trip. encourage yourself like, dude, go in there and do something. Yeah. And you're going to be totally fine. Yeah. Because once you start, once you start moving with something, you like... Every like I'm pretty sore today, but I just did a little bit of backward sled in there and some soreness went away. So it's like I that's the thing though. I know that even when I'm not feeling good, moving is gonna make me feel better, not sitting down. And that's that's the weird part about it. Like when you work out more, you'll realize that on the days that you're really sore, 
number one, you don't have to work out those muscle groups super hard, but you can still go in and just slowly move your body, slowly do things. But as you get your blood flowing and those muscles start to get pumped up a bit, you will feel good, mm. right? The, the, it's like uh, workouts, they don't have to be this arduous thing. They don't have to be this two and a half hour long thing. That's not how my workouts are anymore. My workouts are like 45 minutes to an hour, but I'll do multiple shit during the day along with that. That's why I keep all these things close mm. by. That's why I have the base blocks set up at home because I can just literally hop on it Hold, do my shit, go do something else. What if you're in like a weird mood? Ah, weird mood. Kind of same thing. Still just helps. move. Just say, fuck it, go move. And and that's where I think, you know, it's, you you got to just do it more. You got to work out more and, and, and get in the habit of these things because you'll realize that, I think, uh, what's our, our homie named Ryan from Plunge? think he says cold is medicine. Mm. I don't know if I heard this from somewhere, but like movement is medicine. Like mm -hmm. getting your body moving is the thing that helps you feel better, not sitting down. Hey guys, if you like this clip, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it, all right? Share this with a friend, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also we are on Reddit and Discord. All that's down below. All our sponsors and everyone that supports us down below there too. So you can get whatever you like from us, all right? Peace.